So one of the nicest features within the R81 and R81.10 is the Web Smart Console. So Web Smart Console is instead of having this uh, Smart Console application installed on a Windows machine, you're able to log into the management station using the web interface. And I'm sure that all of you know, like, yeah, you can log into the normal Gaia portal and you can actually log into like a log portal as well. But this is not the web smart console. So if you want to go into the web smart console, first of all, we need to be on the management station and then we just do smart console. Like that. And now we will get to the web smart console and you just take your normal username and password. And instead of having this um, GUI based, you get this web based. So there are new functionalities coming to this web based smart console uh, from time to time. And this is added, including in hotfixes. So you can check like the hotfix, which web smart console version that it has. And you can also check this in CLI. And to figure out like what functions are new in the web smart console, you need to check the SK170314. And then you're able to do like this. So you can go to the to the management station. So just like you can check like what Jumbo hotfix is installed on a specific box. You can do the same with the CP info space dash Y all. And then it will list all the different packages or not all the packages, but the important packages in this case. And here you have one. So bundle web console out update take 48. Okay. So take 48, it's referring to this uh, new feature list. So take 48 we have here. So one of the nicest feature according to me is drag and drop. But this is firstly available within take 55. So how do we get take 55? Well, we can check like uh, checkpoint R81.10 Jumbo hotfixes. And we can see if web smart console take 51 is added in, uh, in this SK somewhere. So let's scroll down and search for web. So the web smart console take 55 is included in the R81 Jumbo hotfix ongoing take 38. And we currently have take 30. So I will update to um, take 38. Yes, so we can check the new drag and drop feature uh, because currently if we have like here, the web smart console, First of all, I don't think that we can see hit counts. That's a shame. Um, but we cannot drag and drop stuff here between uh, different fields. And that's one of the nicest things that I like, at least when you do uh, rules. You can, of course, do the plus and then, then just add. So it's currently it's read write, at least. Before it was read only, but now it's read write. But let's update to take 38. Uh, for the R81.10 and see how take 55 on the web smart console is. All right, so I just finished the upgrade. So let's see if it says uh, take 38 here. Yes. And here we have the web console out update take 55. So let's log into the web console and check how it looks. So we do like this. Smart console and it just came up, so I'm not sure if we're able to log in yet, but uh, we will see. So, yes, it works to log in. Let's see if we can see any difference. So, am I able to do something below? Yes, I'm able to do below or create rule but I'm not able to drag and drop anything, at least not how I can see it. Can I do... 
And some of these ones I cannot right click on. Like the log, for example, I cannot right click on. I can only click on the arrow. Quite disappointing. Uh, let's see, can I drag and drop from here? No. So I would say like this, there is still a lot to do to make this really good. So delete. Let's see if I can publish and install the policy at least. Install. It looks like I'm able to install the policy. I have no status here. It's also something that is missing in the web smart console. Do I get any messages? No, not really. What if I do? What if I do like this? I just add a rule there. I publish it. And let's see if I do a verification. So there are no verification additional here. Can I do install policy or will this break completely? I mean, this should be taking from the uh, verify policy. So installed failed. Okay. It doesn't say the reason for it. Um, so I will say like this. Uh, currently, sadly, the web smart console is not uh, usable for a normal admins. I think it's a great way to display the rules so you can give access to like an application owner or a customer or something uh, because you're able to see the logs. You're able to search in the logs. So, I mean, that part works good, but when it comes to like doing real administrative work within the rule base, currently not. Uh, I'm sure that this will change. I mean, I don't have like hit counts. So this is something that is missing. I don't have a verification. That is a big part. Uh, I don't have searching in the rule base. So, I mean, this is a rule base that is like, I don't know, 12 lines or maybe a bit more. But I mean, if you have a hundred of them, you need to have the search window. Currently, that doesn't exist. So mm, uh, not yet ready, if I say like this. But it's nice to see that they have done some improvements. Let's see if we can change like the web smart console port. I wonder why you do that. So maybe if I log into the uh, real smart console, I have an option to change the default port. Let's see if it's um, really intuitive. I think that's how you say it. I gave it like 10 minutes to try to find how to change port, but I didn't find it. I didn't check in GUIDB edit. I didn't uh, take so much time on it. But one thing I did notice here, it says uh, management API. I get that they are using the management API to actually connect to this part, but it would be nice if it actually says web smart console. So you can see where the people are actually accessing the, the backend system. So to wrap this, I don't know, 15 minutes test up, I think it's okay for like uh, read only if you're sending it to application owners and they need to search for logs. It has very basic functionalities when it comes to like displaying the rules. I mean, if you have a really small rule base, I guess you can just scroll down, but um, not being able to search within the rule base. If you have a lot of rules, that's that's really hard. Um, they have worked on it, but I mean, hit counts is missing. That's essential. It was something that was complained on a lot before Checkpoint introduced it. 
So I think that's a major functionality that needs to be added ASAP. Um, I mean, it's nice that you can mark a line here and you can see the logs, but I mean, you cannot see the hit counts. Uh, the drag and drop doesn't really work. Uh, at least I don't get it to work. Um, so if you're expecting to be able to run the web smart console as of today as your only tool uh, forget it you need to have the smart console if not you will go crazy uh, you will not be able to work efficient so i think that we need to wait a few more months a few new releases and uh, see how much they improve i mean we're still very early in the web smart console I mean, this is take 55. Um, so they've added new functionalities, of course. Um, but currently, it's not enough. So I think that's it. Thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next one. Take care.